hey insurance companies <laughs> yeah so we need to understand something that insurance companies are in the business of selling insurance that's very different to someone being in the business of protecting you right so what this means is when you have an insurance company I'm not going to mention names when you have an insurance company that sells either a funeral cover or they sell a life policy or they sell trade disease or they sell medical lead or whatever it is that they're selling right they hire people whose sole purpose excuse me is to sell you the product that's why they come up to you in the streets or at schools hospitals wherever and they basically convincing you to sell the product now whether the product suits you or not that's that's not for them they they don't care about that right now here's here's the problem this is why this is important if you have again we'll we'll use teachers because well i'm a teacher and they do it in schools a person comes up to you in school and they'll say do you have a funeral policy and you'll go no what happens if someone dies at home we covered it's like yeah but but you but you know you'll be short and so what we offer is cash on top of it so you can top up and you're like i think we're okay no but so the point is they're there solely to sell you the product right they're not there to sit down kind of like a financial advisor wouldn't look at whether you actually need the product or not because their sole purpose is to sell you the product and they make money off selling you the product. So whether you need it or not is not their concern. Right. Now, obviously you might be going, well, you know, but it's unfair. So insurance companies then basically have qualifiers. Qualifiers are going to be basic minimum requirements. Do you have a job? Do you have a criminal record? Um, etc. etc. Something that's really super basic so that you can theoretically afford it and then you might not be able to afford it based on your own proper budget and so that's not going to be the thing that's why they also kind of push you to lead or push you to believe that you can afford it even though you think you can't and then again all goes back down to how many sales can i do and so all of this is important because you need to understand what products you need and what products you don't need or else and i've seen this a number of times is you'll find people end up buy end up buying either one products that they don't need or two they'll end up buying the same product twice that sounds stupid but you know you have situations where you have people that have like two funeral policies and i can share maybe in the next video a situation like that with business to funeral policies or to life policies and it seems like a great idea until you break it down and when you really break it down into certain things you realize it's actually complete into it so one of the reasons for that in closing is because one person sold them and the next person sold them the belief that the more of these you have the better so I'm going to stop there. In the next video, I'll give an example as why it can actually come back to haunt you, or hurt you, and why it can be inefficient, and maybe to try and figure out what you actually need and what you don't. Cheers.